Hi, I'm Maury Galbert, partner here at Burden LLP and chairman of our real estate services group. And with me today is Tyler Morse, CEO of MCR Development. Tyler, thanks for being here. Sure. Thanks for having me, Maury. MCR is one of the largest hotel owners and operators in the United States and MCR has been a client and friend for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Done a lot of really interesting things together. So Tyler, let's talk maybe a little bit more specifically about New York. Sure. So uh, we loved working on the Highline Hotel over in West Chelsea. It was a very interesting project, very complicated, former Episcopalian seminary right up against the Highline Park, but it's in a growth neighborhood, uh, very complicated real estate deal from a zoning uh, perspective but we really enjoyed that, so we decided to take on something a little more complicated. Uh, so we got involved in the TWA Flight Center out at Kennedy Airport. So uh, this is one of the most important buildings in America, and we're building one of the greatest hotels in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, it is an Aerosarinen-designed building. We're going to have a 200,000-square-foot lobby, 510 keys, 45,000 square feet of meeting space, and it's really going to be an iconic destination. And, uh, you know, Kennedy Airport is one of the most important airports in the world. It was the biggest airport in the world when it was built. Uh, the New York Jets are named after Kennedy Airport. It's just one of those once-in-a-lifetime uh, opportunities to have an iconic piece of real estate and turn it into an incredible hotel. We have a lot of exciting stuff going on there with eight restaurants and six bars. It's also been a very complicated deal from a tax standpoint, from an accounting standpoint, uh, from a zoning and a community approval standpoint. Uh, we're dealing with 22 government agencies uh, on this project. and uh, all, all of which have something to say. All, everybody has something to say. Uh, but it's really been a collaborative effort uh, between the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, uh, the state of New York, uh, Governor Cuomo's office, and, uh, you know, it takes a village. Uh, as they say, <laughs> to uh, put this project together. And we are bringing the building back to exactly how it was in 1962 uh, from a preservationist standpoint. So rather than trying to squeeze a square peg into a round hole and take a historic building and make it contemporary, we think that era and this building uh, epitomizes what was great about the United States. In 1962, it was Camelot. Kennedy was president. Can do anything. The airport at the time was Idlewild. John Glenn had just circled the earth. The first James Bond movie came out that year, Dr. No. I mean, this was an exciting period. The Concorde was in development, supersonic air travel. Uh, you know, this was the coming of the jet age in 1962. So we're bringing back the ethos of that period to this building. Uh, you know, Kennedy Airport is the first place that 40% of people who come to America for the first time land. So, you know, we want to have a place that welcomes them to New York City and welcomes them to America and, you know, is a really neat piece of architecture that aviation aficionados will love, architecture aficionados, uh, and people who just want to experience something neat. Tyler, all very exciting. Thanks for sharing your inputs today. Thanks for being here. I look forward to many more years of exciting projects together and all the things we can do together. Yep, I look forward to continuing to partner with Burden and with you, Mari, for the next 10 years. Thanks for everything. Thanks for coming, Tyler. Thanks, Mari.